How back 10th and 11th through 12th? That's Michael Waltrip right along with Casey Kane. Then the two Fords back to the battle up front. White flag is out. Here we go. Who's going to win it at Daytona? We see Reese on. Oh, look out. Look out. Okay, look out on. Into the wall. He caroms off. Everybody He'll else gets by. He'll go back into the wall. The white flag still out. No caution They're on the racing right. that into turn three. Junior's right on the bumper. Clint Boyer. Does he make history? Dale Earnhardt Jr. Or does Clint Boyer win? And here comes Tony Stewart. He's getting the push from Castle. Coming out of four. This is really going okay, to be Okay, here goes Junior to the inside. Junior to the inside. inside. Boyer takes the lead and pulls up. Oh. And at the stripe, it's Boyer. Stewart. Now Stewart. I thought it was Boyer, but Tony Stewart <laughs> does it. Wow. Holy cow. Oh. One more lap to go. I remember Mike Skinner first two years. Oh, no, a crash. Brian Scott has hit the wall on the final lap. Jack, we're down low. Come on, keep digging here. Keep digging. No caution yet on the racetrack. Heading down for the final two corners. Kyle Busch. It will be his 44th nationwide series win. And coming out of turn number four, it's Kyle Busch just ahead of Carl Edwards with Kevin Harvick, a distant third. All right, guys, we made it. Good job. Nice work, nice work. Woohoo! Brad Keselowski. What a day. What a story this whole weekend. They started. You got to be kidding me. They started with a crash, and they have been fighting their way back. But Mark Martin, there he is. Look out. Hey, hey, something wrong with Keselowski's 22. out of fuel. He's up into the wall. Got a flat tire. Flat tire. Get around here. Quite Mark low. Martin Go. takes over the lead. Mark Martin, who said he didn't have enough race car underneath him. And you said, DJ, don't believe him. When he says that, he usually ends up winning. And here he comes. He's going to extend that all-time mark. Mark Martin comes down to win here in Las Vegas. We won, man. We won, dude. <laughs> White flag is out. Well, one more time around down the backstretch. It'll be the 45th time in his nationwide series career. And remember Mark Martin had widened that gap two weeks ago? He just closes it. It's down to four. Kyle Busch with Casey Kane second. Coming home in third, Dale Earnhardt Jr. In fourth, Elliott Sadler with his best run of the year. Joey Logano rounds out the top five. That is for second place. Edwards holding off Harvick for now. They're behind Kyle Busch by one and six tenths seconds. Kyle there on the right on his final lap looking for another win. Oh, he's in the wall. In the wall. Whoa. Here they come. Uh huh. He lost a ton of momentum right there. And that could be the race losing move right there. He's got to keep that momentum going into turn three. As long as those tires are up still. Uh oh. Here they come. Edwards got trying it. to make a run. Not going to be enough. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Good job, boys. I can't believe it. We still won. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Kyle Busch wins again. White flag one more time. There you go. One and a half miles to go here at Charlotte. The fans have seen a good one tonight. Had surprises in more ways than one with Kyle Busch getting crashed out through no fault of his own. And Carl Edwards putting in a dominating performance. He has never been lower than third the entire evening. And here he is just a couple corners away after winning the pole earlier today. Here he comes out of turn number four. Keselowski tries to come as low as he can to cut the margin. But Carl Edwards is going to pick up win number one in 2011. Coming towards the swipe flag. This race is official. We will finish it on this next lap. No matter what happens. Look oh, out. Getting it's going to get tight. Well, that got those separated. The 16 and 16 separated. And that may be all the others needed because look at how far back they have dropped. Down the back stretch. It is the 18 of Kyle Busch. He has never won here in seven prior starts. Look oh, out. Mike Wallace. Stand, Mike Wallace. And he's uh -oh. up and over. Gets back on all fours. The 38 of left.
Leffler is also involved. The race is going to end under caution. And we'll have to wait for NASCAR to give us the official as to which car was the leader. We've just got the official word. Kyle Busch is your winner. So he is now one in all three series here at Talladega. One point three miles remaining for Carl Edwards and his fourth victory here on the concrete in Nashville and his first since 2007. Oh, he's gone. Hey. The Stremi yields to him. Yep. Carl, uh, Carl uh, sees a clear track in front of him. There's nothing Kyle Busch can do at this point. Turns three and four. Kyle making one last desperate charge, but the time and distance is going to run out. For his 31st time in his career, Carl Edwards sees the checkered flag first with Kyle Busch coming across in second and in a distant third. Eight Think seconds of uh, Jonathan Bunty and his family, all right? This one's for them, all right? Now through three and four. This time, the white flag goes in the air. Hamlin, then Menard. Got a crash two across them. the stripe. Big problem up here in turn four. No they caution took the white yet. flag before the caution came caution out. out. The caution, caution comes race. out. Denny Hamlin will win the race. The race is over. Well, it was over anyway. <laughs> Denny Hamlin was going to win. <laughs> it's really over now. Denny Hamlin will make his way back to the start finish line and see the yellow flag, but more importantly, the checkered flag. How ironic is that? We have three cautions and one of them ends the whole race. One of them ends the race. Big help this weekend. There it is. 1.3 miles to go for Kyle Busch to win here at Darlington. It looks like Elliot Sadler might make it all the way on fuel, too. He's still running third. He has fallen back about 13 seconds from the race leader down the backstretch for the final time. Well done, bud. Well done. Through turns three and four. He comes out in front of the crowd here. And the checkered flag is out for the 48th time in his career. Kyle Busch is going to take the win by 2.9 seconds. The lady flag. I love it. Love it. Good job, all right. Good job, guys. Now here comes Carl back on the low side. Oh, oh Carl wins a little. Come on, he's sideways. Oh, oh, now it gets into the car. He's into the bar, and the car is upside down. On his side is Clint. Yellow is out. Yellow is out. Yellow is out. Wallace gets into it. The 14 of Bliss gets into it. Red flag immediately. Stop on the back. They want you to stop on the back. They are stopping everyone. He on got the loose or something. I was just in the throttle. He got loose. I touched him, guys. So the caution Here's and checker flag. comes Here, out. Here's your checker flag. Carl picks up his 32nd nationwide win, not the way he wanted to do it, and he is coming over to stop immediately. Lap traffic ahead. Carl Edwards behind. For 23-year-old Ricky White Stenhouse right Jr., one lap line away line from line his line first line NASCAR line Nationwide line Series line win, can he come back around in front? I think he's got it. After almost losing his ride, being sat down just over a year ago, the promise fulfilled today at Iowa and the first Nationwide Series driver to win a race since March of 2010, Mississippi's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is a winner. Kenseth, one of the best there is. Two-time winner in the Sprint Cup Series already this year. Two-time Nationwide winner at Charlotte. He's taken the white flag. He's on his last lap. Pretty good relief driver to be able to throw in when you need one, huh? Think so. Jason Leffler, unscheduled stop for fuel. Last lap, must have run the tank dry. Ain't over, won't get there. There we go. Well, the strategy's gonna pay off. One awesome. try, one guys. trophy this year for Matt Kenseth. Checkered flag in his first nationwide series start of the year. Matt Kenseth wins today at Charlotte. Good job, fellas. That was awesome. I didn't think I was going to get him there. Um... Brian Scott's good run. Could be in trouble here. He pulls down on the apron. He's shaking the car. He's out of fuel. They said he was he was about two laps short. Trevor Bain moves up to this third. Time, four back. If you run your line, I don't think he's got nothing for you here. Three and a half back. He flows there. 
You heard it all. One lap to go, and Allgaier's giving it everything he's got. He's closing, coming out of two. Can he get him going down the backstretch? Is there enough time? Oh, yeah, Carl Edwards oh, out of Carl's fuel. out of fuel. Elbow Edwards is out of fuel. It. Justin Allgaier. We could have our second nationwide series regular winning this year. Carl down on the apron. Looks like Allgaier's out, 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 out of fuel. Who's going to coast to the finish line? Third Trevor place Bain's is coming. Trevor Bang. Here they come. Gonna it's going to be a drag race to the finish. Could Trevor Bang do it? Did he get his first win? The checker flag. Me. The checker flag for Allgaier. So summing up some storylines on the day. The Mark Martin, Kyle Busch for all-time most wins in the Nationwide Series. Going to be a stalemate here. Mark only to run one more of these Nationwide races this season. So his chance to maybe add one to his total and hold on to that record a little longer and be first to 50. As uh, we talked to him about on Countdown, uh, is going to have to wait for another day. Kyle also, it does appear, is not going to be able to add to his win total today. Though he and Paul Menard are still going to have a heck of a fight for third place. He's not giving up on that spot. Fuel mileage. We saw people shutting off the engines and saving fuel earlier in the race. Not going to be a factor here. The Detroit hometown race for Jack Roush and Roush Fenway Racing. Looks like it's going to wind up in a 1-2 finish as Carl Edwards is in his final corner. He'll come to the checkered flag and score the victory in Michigan over his teammate Richie Stenhouse Jr. It is Ford first in its own hometown. Reed Sorensen is second. You see the gap back to Fellows in third. Villeneuve in fourth. Elliot Sadler has been shuffled back to sixth. Michael McDowell is 14th. It's amazing. After all that contact, Jack Villeneuve is up to fourth again now. Caution. There is now, a caution no, fly. No, this might do it for Algar. Got it off He's got to make Get it, it off back. Got it off. We just won this race. You guys are freaking out. <laughs> Shut it off and coast. I think, Save it. I think Justin did a, his part, too. Four, I'm coasting. Did a good job, man. NASCAR reminding the teams over its race control radio, you have to maintain This is under caution. Caution yeah, like right. speed. is 45 miles Sorensen an hour. Sorensen's gone. Yes, he is. He was running second. He wants to run out of fuel. There he is there back. Is. He's maintaining speed. I, I don't know. Elliot Sadler, look at him. Unless he's just getting back in line. Uh-oh, looks like uh, 31 might be out. Is he? Yeah. Is he? He's out. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. Man. Oh, my oh, goodness. Right. Yeah. Unreal. Justin Allgaier's out of fuel. Oh. That's a heartbreaker. And you, and you can't get assistance no. on the last lap. It, it did Sorensen not maintain speed. It You've got to be kidding me. Is Fellows going to win this thing? Just start it. Send it over. Send it over. Go. Well, Fellows is too not, fast. Fellows is going too fast right here. Yeah, that's, they shouldn't that's, be allowing that. I don't know what Fellows is doing. Now they're saying Reed Sorensen's the winner. I agree with this decision. NASCAR has made the call for Reed Sorensen to go to victory lane. He still has enough fuel for a nice burnout. Here comes the white flag. Now they got to run. Yeah, they got to separate those two right there. One lap to go, down on the low side. It's a net with Stephen Wallace pushing. Neither one of them has ever won a nationwide oh. race. Look out, Danica brushes the wall. They gather it back up. Sadler in trouble now as they broke apart. He and the nine of Tony Stewart. Logano and Kyle Busch did the lead. On the high side, and all of a sudden, the Annette combination breaks apart. Here comes Reed Sorensen, and he could win the $100,000 bonus in the Nationwide Dash for Cash. Coming out of turn number four, it looks like Joey Logano, who's been so good at pushing, may end up winning. Uh oh, crash in the back. At the strike, the win goes to Logano, and look at the carnage behind. Here comes the white flag lap. Can he make it a mile and a half? Right now, it's going to be a long mile and a half. Are you shut off? One or two. Three seconds. Did I hear him say we ran out? Somebody said it, but we're going to find out. The 22. He's still pulling on the back straightaway. He's still got power. 
and a two and a half second lead as they head down into the final corners. What a great Harvick's gonna make it too. fuel strategy as Brad Keselowski is going to get the win, his 13th in nationwide series comp competition. Not a lot of grip out there right now. Kyle got a little sideways coming through three and four. Here we come with the white flag. So this race is going to finish now. Does Kyle pick up win number 100? Does he tie Mark Martin for 49 nationwide wins? It looks like Kevin Harvick has the only shot at him. Down the back straight away for the final time. He's obviously got to get to him if he's going to make a difference in who determines in, in who wins this race. Don't, gonna... don't think it's going to happen. Coming out of four. Here comes Kyle. Rich to win 100, 100 wins. You ought to be proud of yourself. Good job, bud. And he's done it. Too late for Austin Dillon. He's got a fast car. Looks like Edwards is going to get this thing, guys. 1.3 miles separating Carl Edwards from his victory number 34 in his career. Down the backstretch for the final time. And there you can see Ricky Stenhouse Jr. just cannot close the gap. Coming through three and four. Carl Edwards is going to lead 124 laps tonight and pick up his fifth win of 2011 here at Nashville. Here we come to the white flag. This yeah. race will be official. I think Ricky Stent. Oh, look out. Here goes Brian Scott heading for the wall, coming back up across the track. Wow. The race stays green for right now, down the back stretch, and it looks like Brad Keselowski is going to take this win. He's opened up the margin. So after Ricky Stenhouse dominated this race, leading 188 laps, here comes Brad Keselowski leading seven of them to take the win. Good job, boys. Way to get that done, Brad. Awesome job. you got to give Ricky Stenhouse a lot of credit. You know, it's, it's not easy to top Carl Edwards at a track, and he's, apparently he's going to do it for the second time at Iowa. Here we go. Seven eighths of a mile to go for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He picked up his first career win here back in May. And all he has to do now is negotiate two more corners and he's going to do it again at Iowa Speedway. He dominated last week, Marty. Didn't get the win, but it looks as though he's got a little redemption in mind here tonight. He, oh, look out as he has a tire situation. Here comes Edwards right wow. into it. They cross the line. And guess who wins the race? Stenhouse. What? Uh, Kyle got up on the curb. That's going to hurt his exit speed there. Looked like he might have a shot at passing Jimmy down here going to turn one. White flag. The next flag ends the race. Kurt Busch leading Jimmy Johnson. Four car lengths down the hill. Good guy. Yeah, Kurt Busch is in good shape right here. He just has to make sure that he doesn't overdrive getting into the inner loop right here. He should pretty much have things well in hand. If he's got enough fuel, don't forget. Right. And it doesn't blow up before he gets there. I saw that happen last week. Not with the Dodge. But Ricky Stenhouse is forward, so anything's possible here. A run up the final straightaway and two last corners to the checkered flag. Jimmy Johnson not close enough as long as the fuel holds out. Under power and coming under the checkered flag. Kurt Busch wins it. And we've got a full course caution. No, with, unbelievable. But the final lap is out. No, we've got the white flag Check flying, that. Marty. Check we've got it. the white yes. flag. Don't have to worry about it. No, it is a final lap. So it's going to be a full run to the finish. Yeah, Marcus is just saying to himself, all i got to do is have a solid lap, no mistakes, hit my marks, don't miss those shifts. These things are second nature for him. Oh, and that turn 14 is what got him a couple years now. When he hits the rump with the bump right there, he got him out of control. Okay, He's got to be thinking that. Let's give a little credit to uh, uh, his substitute driver while he was gone. A friend growing up, Owens, 
Yep, good drive he did for Marcos, getting that car set up. Owen Kelly did Owen a great Kelly, job. Yeah, Owen Kelly. Did. And that was Marcus' decision. Just a few corners left in the Napa 200, and the demons for Marcus Ambrose in less than two weeks will be taken care of on both the cup and nationwide level. Okay, this is a tough part right here into turn 10. A lot of drivers trying to outbreak each other into here. Let's just get through this corner. He does a great job, Marcos does. Alex Tagliani there in second with McDowell close by in third. Stephen Wallace still in a career best position of fourth. And Brian Scott with a sneaky little run. He never really cracked the top five until the end. What about Alex Tagliani? Take a look at uh, Michael McDowell trying to make a pass. Man. He's better. Gets back in line, guys. Marcos Ambrose went through a lot to get here. He's thinking right now it was all worth it. Takes the corner nice and smooth this time. Comes down the long front straightaway. Brian and, Scott. Oh, right. Brian Scott gets awesome turned. Awesome job, Marcus Ambrose. Awesome job, son. Nice job, guys. And Marcus oh, Ambrose right. gets the win. Exciting run. Kyle Busch looking to make more history. Oh. Logano wants a win at Bristol. Who's going to get it? White flag this time by. Half a mile to go. The race is between He's the there, teammates. Right He's there. How hey, deep will he go? Side by side. Got Runs him up. Here they come for the strike. Who's going to win it? It's going to be Kyle. Like it's going to be yes, sir. Kyle Busch winning number 50. Number 50 that makes you the most winning in the nationwide. Good job. Yeah, the only thing, Carl is going to have some traffic. If they make him go to the higher side, he could lose a little bit of that momentum. He's going to catch him at the right spot, though. Flag, buddy, one more time. Clear he gets around bottom. Jennifer Joe. And he has 1.5 miles to go. And Carl Edwards, remember, he won this race from pole back in 2005, and oh, he got loose there. Wow. Kyle is pushing for all he's worth, but it's not going to be enough. He'll be the fourth man to win from pole here at Atlanta in the Nationwide Series as he's bringing it around the final corners. And it is going to be Carl Edwards taking the win here at Atlanta. Kyle Busch closes to second. And in third, it will be Ricky Stenhouse Jr., our points leader. And low coming to the strike, the 30th Jason Leffler is going to come down and through the infield. Time is going to right here. Just one more lap. Kyle Busch was not happy with his race car at the beginning of this day. Did a nice job in qualifying and has worked along with Jason Radcliffe and his crew. And here he comes. Kyle Busch is going to make it look easy. His 51st career win with Carl Edwards second. In third place, Brian Scott. He's going to tie a career best. Here, and here we go with the white flag left. So it's not going to be that dramatic finish like we saw here in June when both Carl Edwards and Justin Allgaier ran out of fuel in the final lap. Instead, it's going to be cruise control for the 22 as Brad Keselowski is going to break that hex. Remember we told you at the beginning of broadcast, no one has ever won from the first or second starting position. Well, Brad started second, and here he comes for the final time. <laughs> it's about time. Oh, I mean, hell of a job right there. It'll be his ninth win with crew chief Mike Beam if he can just complete one more mile here at the Monster. And remember, he told us before the race, he said, my cup car is better than my nationwide car. Well, he is going to lead 179 laps. And Carl Edwards coming through the last couple of corners, slower traffic ahead of him, but it's not going to deter him. Here at Dover, Carl's going to win on the concrete again. Here comes the white flag, so a mile and a half for Brad Keselowski. He has led 172 of 199 so far. Carl Edwards has done about everything you can ask, just not enough. There is Elliot Sadler still trying to hold off Paul Menard for third. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. rounds out your top five right now here at Kansas. But what a day for Brad Keselowski fell back to 14th as a result of the pit stop as he comes across the line to take the checkered flag and win 
for the 16th time in the Nationwide Series. These two drivers have been the class of the field on many occasions this year. They finished 1-2 on many occasions. Final lap, one to go. Edwards with Kyle Busch bearing down on him. Elliott Sadler in command for the bonus. Busch to the inside. Can he get the lead in the final half lap? Not that corner. One more set of turns. Big run to the bottom, but it's not going to be enough. Carl Edwards is going to have another incredible rally and come all the way back to win tonight in Charlotte. One more time. One more Here you see. The white flag is out. Now Denny Hamlin is closing on Trevor Bain. Yeah, he's right there. He's going to put some pressure on Trevor on this last lap. Trying a little different line off turn two. Didn't seem to help, though. Might get a run down the back straightaway, though. He can get a little bit of a draft here, but I'm sure Trevor's going to make him go by on the high side if he's going to pass him. The young man who stunned everybody, winning the Daytona 500 back in February, coming through turn number four. He is going to get his first nationwide win in his 77th start. Here we go. White flag is out. Just one mile remaining here on this new configuration for Sam Hornish Jr. to pick up his first win in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Roger Penske on the left, looking on. Through the dog leg for the final time and into three. Oh, he's just been so solid. They took those two tires and on the restart, he was able to jump out there, get the lead, and wasn't going to be denied at this victory. Here he comes out of turn number four, his first Nationwide Series win and a 1-2 finish for Team Penske. Sam Hornish, your winner. Brad Keselowski, second. Carl Edwards and Joey Logano with Ricky Stenhouse, Jr. in fifth place. So Ricky Stenhouse, Jr.'s lead going into the final race will be 41 points. He cannot clinch it until next week. White flag is in the air. One lap to go. There's the white. Through turns one and two. Oh, check this out. Woo. Very wide. And the six of Stenhouse rim riding. Here he is trying to close the gap down the back stretch. He's got to do it on the top side, I believe. Can the champion do it? He fakes to the inside. Keslowski goes low. Stenhouse is going to run it high. Here they come through, Half three and middle. four. He's got, got the run, run here. Here. <laughs> Heading for the stripe. Who is going to win it? It's going to be Brad Keselowski as he takes the win from the pole. Our champion comes across second. Carl Edwards locks up the owner's title by finishing in third. And you guys talk because I need to catch oh, my breath. Oh, what a finish on the season for this series. That was an incredible finish. I hope you saw the 22, the 6, and the 60 all sideways coming out of turn four trying to win this race. What an effort. What an effort, champion. Good job, baby. Yeah! Fireworks going off in the background. A championship to be celebrated. 24-year-old Ricky Stenhouse, Jr. And a 17th career win for Brad Keselowski in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. What a way to finish 2011.